I fixed the edges of an old concrete porch that was falling apart and then the owners came and painted it about a month later. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well today we got this porch and as you could see everything kind of fell off of here. The owner ripped some of this off but over here it's fine. So we're good there. We got to do is just patch this up and then they're going to paint it. I'm going to show you how I did One that. we're going to do, just like a dentist, scratch on it. And if it's loose, we're going to get it off. And then we're going to get our wire brush and get everything else off that's loose. And if it ain't loose, we're not going to bother. That's all we're going to do, the whole thing be banging on it we're only gonna make things worse just scratch it off paint loose you ain't gonna bother it so Got it all scraped off. We're not going to turn this into a big project. All we're going to do is shim this up as far as we can like that. Put some other pieces under it. Like that. So she don't go nowhere. Just like that. I'm just going to get this to shore this up. A little rule here so everything evens up like I said we're not going to make no big deal okay so we got to shim these up better like that and we got this board that we put up here to go even with the top ain't no big deal see that ain't no big deal I'm gonna get this long piece. See that where I oiled it? That's gonna go up here like that. Now if you could see this line, I'm going right even with this porch. Right there, that is where my form gotta go. So I'm gonna put a piece in here like this to hold that up to that line. We're getting done here. We're shoring it up in the back. So we got this all in. I got, got my line to make sure we're lined up here. And we're good. We're ready to go this way. We're ready to go that way. What I'm doing before I even mix the cement is I'm wetting it really good. Today I'm just going to use rapid set mortar mix. It's good enough for this job. It's going to dry fast. We got to work it fast. I mix a little bit at a time. Now I'm mixing it up. Now this stuff dries fast. So my helper there, he's uh, keep it wet. So that's the consistency that I want. Right about like that. I gotta work fast with it. So I'm gonna pick it up and keep this real wet. And we're gonna get it down in there. Just like that. So I think it's wet. It's gonna stick. It ain't wet. It's not gonna stick. You wanna make sure you get it down in there. See that? I can feel it getting a little hard already. I wanted to get the corner first.
that. I want to get it in there. See that? Plaster it in there. That way we know it's going to stick. Just like that. It's getting hard already. Yep, right here, get it, got it. That's it. This is right. Make sure. Didn't do that good. I don't want to be sticking my hands in it, but I want to make sure that that's all in there. I want to get my edger. I want to make sure I put an edge on this sidewalk. Okay, got it wet. As long as it's wet, we're putting this stuff in. He's good. We're working fast. Okay, that's looking good. Now we're going to go over here. Right, this is going down in there. Pass her to side so it gets up in there. That's important. Keep it wet. Plaster the sides. Right there, that's good. We gotta add a little bit. Like this. Add a little bit here. Like this. Use the sponge and sponge it. That's it. Blend it all in. Just like that. Just like that. Running it all in. Now this is that's a little high. See it as they run the thing across? Like that. So I get that down here a little bit. Okay. That's better. And this was the part I forgot to form because I was so lazy. But we're gonna fake it right in there. Just like that. And make it look 
if we didn't cheat. If that makes sense. This is high. We don't want no highness. It's even, just like a sculptor. My buddy Wayne Faree, the sculptor. That's it. Get the sponge. I ripped these out of my cousin's car seat, these sponges. You don't have to bite them. And that's it. See, we're kind of sculpting it. No big deal. Where did you get the sponges from? My cousin's car seat. I ain't looking. <laughs> I got a lot of laughs on that one. Never That's gone. that one. Okay. So we got a crack here. I'm gonna paint the porch, but I'm gonna disguise it a little bit. Get this stuff, rub it in. That's all. Just make sure it gets down in there. A high back crack. You got any bad cracks, you gotta hide them. Then, just get the sponge, whatever, kind of sponge it. Kind of blend it in there a little bit, or it don't look like we're even here. That's it. Rub it in there. Well, it's time to take all these forms off. I'll go, Michael. Yeah. What happens if we take these forms off and it all falls off? We get in that truck and we get out of here as fast as we can. Okay. That's one form. Okay. This piece out. Like that. A couple holes, but not too bad. Okay. Now we got some holes in here and it's up and down. I get my little grinder like this. And I actually forgot my sponge float. That's okay. We're sculpting it right now, see? Right here. Get some over here. Pull all them holes. Get in here and sculpt this a little bit. Everything matches up. I got it down, but I forgot my sponge float. Just gonna get this block and rub it down. Do my side up here. Like that. Get all the big stuff, heavy stuff out. Like that. I'm going to mix up uh, another product. So for my last, for my last coat, I miss mixing this stuff. It's like a grout. And what that's going to do, doesn't have any sand in it. Doesn't have any sand in it. That's good. It doesn't have any sand in it, so we could kind of paste it in there. See that? That's going to hide a lot of sins. So that's it. I came and I formed it and I put the rapid set in and then I fixed the sides up because that stuff moves so fast that it always leaves potholes. You have to be really fast with it. Then we let it sit for about a month the owners painted it and that's it. It's just another way to fix an old concrete porch.